kind of trying to like group them by like style, you know? I mean, the only reason I even started shaping or designing boards this way at all was just because I wanted to take my interest in shaping, design, surfboards, skateboarding, and like, just how do I take all of the things I think are cool and put it on something that I like to ride. And the only intention behind it was I like shaping, I like graphic design, I love art. Like, how can I just take all the things that I like and mash it into one and like, make something that I'm stoked to surf. Making surfboards, making skateboards, doing graphics, surfing itself, skating itself, like it's all just art. Little tiny imperfect things is what makes every single person unique and it what makes every single feeling unique and that's kind of like what makes it cool. Skate and serving both have that similar energy in that they can be calming, they can be fast and aggressive, they can be like flowing. You can kind of take whatever it is that you're feeling and like put that into skating or put that into surfing. When I was younger, I didn't think about it as much. But now as I've gotten older and I've spent more time like diving into the synchronicities between skating and surfing, especially going into like board design, I try to just kind of like find the really finite little feelings that I want to bring over. Little bits and pieces of skating or little bits and pieces of surfing and like mesh them together. And then on top of that, how can I make something that gives me the feeling that I want once I'm in the water? I was already kind of in that mode of seeking how I can make surfing and skateboarding like start feeling similar and how I could like incorporate each into both. One day I rode a, one of my friend's twin fins. It was just a twin fin fish. And like we switched boards and I caught a couple waves on it and it was like I had this like epiphany of like, oh, I've been surfing the wrong kind of board like my whole life. Like this is what I should have been riding the whole time the upright fins, the way it performed, the way it like had drive, like everything about it just translated straight over into like my skate brain. And I just like understood like that was how my body needs to work. Like that's the feeling that I was seeking. That sent me down a whole trajectory of like discovering different fin templates and reasons why fins are placed where they are and using both the shape and the fin templates to find the performance outcome that I wanted or the feeling that I wanted. The best tool for me has been direct feedback of literally creating something that I really like and that I think is cool, going out, testing it, being like, okay, we need to, this board's got too much rocker, it's too slow, let's flatten it out a little bit, or let's add more single concave or a little V in the tail to add responsiveness or whatever. And then that all feeds back into sitting here again and redesigning and rethinking and going to the shaping bay. And like, it's just a endless cycle. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sick, I'll just do it as a twin thing. Okay, all right, 
tiny measurements make a pretty big difference. So I would say marking your fins in the right place for that board is pretty important, if not the most important thing. From a shaper's perspective, I like being able to control my cant angle of the fin on the FCS boxes. FCS boxes are also reverse engineered so that you can click in an FCS1 fin into an FCS2 box. So you can keep all your old fins and pop them in your new boxes. And the click in, click out feature is pretty nice just for ease of switching fins. This particular model you can ride with an MR or a Power Twin and you can kind of switch back and forth depending on if you want more hold that day or less hold or more drive. Like you can swap between a bigger template and a smaller template. From someone who's like coming from like a design perspective and like trying to seek out particular performance aspects, working with their fins was super beneficial. Sometimes trying to do so many things is like overwhelming. Like I definitely sometimes feel overwhelmed by like, uh, I have to like go shoot a photo for a skate sponsor today. I want to surf in the morning and I also have to shape a board for somebody. And then I also need to come home and edit these photos and like do this graphic. Like that's like sometimes is crazy in my brain, but I don't ever wish that I did less things. At the end of the day, if I can make something that inspires somebody else to go out and do that activity, whether it's surfing or skating or whatever it is, shaping, then that's rewarding to me. Mm -hmm.